Okay, let's thank you very much. And the presentation is open for discussion. So, you, in your conclusions, you said that you need the integer number for the um, for the nodes, right? Yes. So in other words, you need to quantize uh, your your momentum, your angular momentum should be quantized, yes. right? And this is very valid, of course, statement mm -hmm. which you proved. However, you didn't show the results with three zero zero. You were showing three zero one, three two point something. Yes. Was it some? Oh, is it an issue to get exactly the even number for your code? Um, or you just didn't show it because it's, we, it's not interesting. <laughs> Well, there's that, but um, the code <laughs> did not run as well with completely even integers. We wanted to have um, three uh, significant figures in each value of the nodes, so we just ran it not completely equal, but we got it as close. So in other words, there's some bug in your code which not allowing you to really get exactly integer number. So there's maybe some uh, numerical errors, which yes. results that you need in yeah. a kind of a, a little correction, and you mm -hmm. cannot really get the uh, exact even number. Yes. More questions, please. So um, can we use this simple picture that you got to understand any no observation in experiment? Yes, any simple experiment that. Uh, some experimental data um, where we can use this picture to understand. Um, uh, I mean, you could use it in a multitude of different experiments if you're able to. Um, this is kind of atom by atom, not the complication of a molecule. So, um, yeah, the blue line just, if it's stable, then the electron is going to be less likely to transfer. But if you're looking at an atom where um, the blue line is moving all over the place, then the electron is going to be more likely to transfer. And that we just, well, I looked at it as. The electron is more likely to transfer from the atom. Yes. Or move to a state where it can be more stable within the atom. But can you really give some examples of this experimental evidence of something like that? Is our connection to her some experimental her evidence of the Bohr model? <laughs> um, uh, I did not look into that. Come so on, you can, you can. What exactly is the reason why Bohr created his model? There was very clear need from experimental side why he really stopped working on it, and how he proved that his model is right. Um, uh, he looked at. Um, Let's go to your questions. Maybe they will help you. Yeah. So you you last equation. Uh, what does it tell? Um, at the values of even integers of nodes, the. Um, Don't exactly know. So what what is H? Which, and uh, which um, observable which dimension corresponds to? Like momentum, position, or start with letter E? <laughs> eigenstate. Yeah. Observable. It, uh, eigenstate of Hamiltonian, but it can be kinetic or potential. Kinetic. Yes. Good. So if you plug in uh, the quantized values, or if you um, look that you have integer number of nodes, what could be the values of, of energy from this Hamiltonian equation? Would you get different energies for different uh, values of your quantized L? And how is it changing? <coughs> If L grows, then energy. Energy. So energy, energy grows. Mm -hmm. And because L is quantized, then what happens with energy? Like L cannot take something in between because then your atom is unstable. Mm -hmm. Then you really need to take all integer numbers for L, right? Then what, how does it affect the energy? 
as energy continuously changing when you or it takes only discrete values Discrete values. discrete values, which depends on this L, right? Mm -hmm. And now go back to experiment. How does the hydrogen, uh, the spectral hydrogen atom, looks like in the visible range? It's very discrete values. Actually, there are four discrete lines, mm -hmm. right? And this was kind of a main puzzle. No one could explain before Bohr why is it discrete? Why is it not kind of a distribution like mm -hmm. you see from the black body radiation, which is just spread it kind of distribution in all over over all energies right yeah. and this exactly explains if you have one single electron in a hydrogen atom moving from the ground state to the first, <coughs> the first second and so on excited states right results mm -hmm. on the discrete energies if they go in a visible range you really can see them just by eye and and this is the evidence of this uh, model it works he was able to use this model and predict this energies which then were compared with the hydrogen atom spectra and they looked very nicely there mm -hmm. Agreed. I'm not sure whether you were thinking about yeah. this experiment. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, people propose a model for purpose. Mm -hmm. They were trying to understand something. And usually it came from there. Yeah. So I was right. I mean, I wanted to see the connection. Yeah. Right. More questions? More in? No? It's not questions, it's applause. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, thank you. So we have uh, two more presentations.